everyone understands happiness in his own way. But a lot of people think that happiness is first of all good health. Unfortunately, after the catastrophe at Chernobyl nuclear power station, a lot of us still feel negative influence of radiation. Number of illnesses such as thyroid cancer, leukemia, nervous and immune system disorders has increased. And worst of all is that these serious illnesses lead to children's and teenagers' disability. So what will be our future? Can't we find healing medicines for the future generation of our state Ukraine? Our civilization goes ahead fast. And soon, let's hope that our scientists will find such methods of treatment which will cure illnesses caused by Chernobyl. But it's in future. Today, children's health is guarded by highly qualified specialists, doctors and teachers, who present seriously ill children with happy minutes of life, using their great love and hard work. Maybe someone will think that these sincere and frank words are only artificial phrases. But if you spend at least one day in the Center of Medical and Social Rehabilitation of Disabled Children Revival, you will understand that's a real truth. Necessity and importance of its work we shall try to prove in this film. Let's start with the history of the medical and social health protection establishment's creation. April 26, 1986. Notorious accident at Chernobyl nuclear power station took away life and health of many adults and children. Gradually, negative influence of Chernobyl reflected on their health even more intensively. At the beginning of 90s, horrible increase of children illnesses and disability frightened doctors. They are looking for the most effective methods of treatment of children's cerebral paralysis, nervous, blood, breathing and digestive system illnesses. Children's disability in Chernigiv raised three times more during the first ten years of the Chernobyl catastrophe. The reason of it is significant increase of children's illnesses. Thyroid system illnesses increased five times more. Breathing and digestive system three times. Nervous system disorders four times. Inborn and immune system disorders increased greatly. A statistic says children's thyroid cancer wasn't registered in pre-catastrophe period for 25 years in Chernigiv, and after the catastrophe, 56 children under 18 years old have it. The main reasons of illness and disability increase were no iodine prophylactic during the first hours and days after Chernobyl catastrophe. The government wanted to hide information about the catastrophe and thought that iodine prophylactic would lead to panic among people. During first weeks and months after the catastrophe, there was no clean from radioactive elements food. That's why harmful influence of radiation on children wasn't only through breathing system, but digestive system as well. Work on the catastrophe liquidation at the fourth block and nearby territory demanded huge financial expenses. It lessened social protection of people and, first of all, medical help. Crisis in the Ukrainian economics made it worse, too. Rehabilitation of such children, and first of all disabled children, is a very difficult task, which consists of medical, pedagogical, psychological, social and political public events. We know that work of the services which had to help disabled children was not coordinated. That's why this problem couldn't be solved as a complex. It made a group of doctors work out the conception and on its basis the program of complex rehabilitation of children who have a nervous system disorders. A highly qualified children's urologist, Natalia Zenchenko, and an experienced pediatrician with health protection organizer, Vasil Pasichnik, were the main ideologists of this conception. Three years of hard work, which included material technical base creation, modern rehabilitation equipment installation, qualified staff invitation were before the center's opening. Starting from the first year of the center's work, American humanitarian organization LifeNets 
the president of which is Viktor Kubik, joined this work. They have been helping seven years already. Viktor Kubik involved hundreds of Americans into this work. Tom Paine, Beverly Kubik, Deborah Shabby, Malcolm McClure, and many others are among them. This organization gives financial help for the children's rehabilitation, diagnostic and rehabilitation equipment purchase, sends annual humanitarian aid for poor families, orphans, invalids. Collaboration of doctors headed by Vasil Pasichnik and foreign humanitarian aid workers with support of local authorities led to the opening of the Health Protection Establishment, the Center of Medical and Social Rehabilitation of Disabled Children Revival. This important event happened in Chernigiv in summer 1996. Actually, it was and still is a saving island for many suffering families who during many years tried to cure serious illnesses themselves. Center is uh, today проводить реабілітацію до 120 дітей інвалідів, які знаходяться щоденно по потівкам. During several last years, more than a thousand children come to the center. 52-56% of them are disabled children. All the rest are so-called Chernobyl children, who have serious health disorders, and without course of rehabilitation, they can lead to disability in future. Of course, the number of children who need treatment in our center is much bigger, but our possibilities are not strong enough to give them complex rehabilitation. Now, for such children and their parents, the center turned into a fantastic fairy tale. Patients are presented with unforgettable happy minutes while being in the revival center. Polite and attentive doctors, different specialists, psychologists and teachers help children to cure and improve their health. Rooms of medical physical training, massage, physiotherapy and water treatment, speech therapy, psychological rehabilitation and labor therapy, computer class and dentists are functioning in the center with this aim. The center has necessary medical equipment, toys, books, sewing machines, computers. Everything is thanks to the great help of our friends from abroad. Type of work, day center, is the best for the children. It excludes the necessity of child's regime and habits changes. The course of rehabilitation is 24 days. Child spends four, six hours in the center. Medical, pedagogical, labor activities, one-time feeding are included in the course. Breaks between treatments are full of games, activities, which help to achieve positive medical result. В центре проходит реабилитацию дети с тяжёлыми хроническими, неврологическими и соматическими заболеваниями. Children with different serious chronic nervous and somatic illnesses have rehabilitation in the center. Full recovery of lost functions is impossible even if you use the most modern and expensive medical technologies. Thanks to complex approach, traditional medical methods use, psychotherapy, Montessori therapy, labor therapy, we manage to achieve positive result in 80-85% of disabled children. Improves muscle tone, lessens contracting, lessens or stops convulsion attacks. Practically all children have better mood and desire to work, lose headache. I like to be in the center. It's like a fairy tale. Good food, treatment. It's very beautiful here. People are very good. At different parties I was a Cinderella, a flower. You play, find out a lot of you here. It's impossible to do it at home. Parents are happy that I am happy here. I come home in good mood. I feel relaxed, beloved, needed. A child became more jolly and more attentive. Our children are not alone. They have good teachers. I'd like to thank them a lot. They pay a lot of attention to our children. There are three main principles in Montessori system. Taking into account children's individuality, providing children's independence, wide use of sensor and physical upbringing. Therapeutic aim of this method is to reveal children's wish to do something, make their disobedient fingers work. Yes, it wasn't a slip of the tongue, it's a real work. For spiritual and intellectual child's development, it's important to teach him or her how to feel. 
That's why everything in Montessori therapy is directed on the development of child's motor and sensor systems, natural teaching how to be independent. Montessori materials are keys to the world for the child. Working with them, a child learns to choose, notice, correct mistakes himself or herself. Unfortunately, we don't have enough Montessori materials. Not only children, children under three years old and seriously ill children come here, but their mothers participate in this process. They get recommendations concerning improvement of skills and abilities at home. Montessori world is a world of bricks, stones, circles, which seem unusual and simple for us. It's a wonderful world of belief in yourself and your abilities. It's a world of joy, life and kindness. Labor therapy and computer classes, except for their main task, play an important role in the disabled children upbringing. They want to work and feel happy when they see the results of their work. Serious illness changes their psychology, ruins psychological atmosphere in the family. But it is corrected successfully by individual and family psychotherapy, group psychocorrection. I see that you like to draw. You draw animals, birds. Who helps you? My mother and sister helps me. The center helps us greatly. We come here and get complex treatment. All specials help in everything. Now we have some health difficulties, no medicines. And here we were given special medicines, vitamins. We have different kinds of treatment here. Massage has positive influence on my child. Psychological relaxation plays an important role. Children love a playroom, labor therapy. They feel that they are needed. So complex medical, psychological and social rehabilitation doesn't only have positive influence on physical conditions of seriously ill children, improves their intellectual activity, health and mood, but also help them to get the feelings of real life. But unfortunately, sad statistics of children's illnesses increase worries specialists. Today, the administration of the Revival Center is looking for real ways of help to the disabled children. A department of early rehabilitation for young patients and their mothers was opened two years ago. Repair works and expansion of several more departments are planned too. The prognosis of children's health isn't optimistic. Young people who were children during Chernobyl catastrophe, liquidators of the catastrophe and people who moved away from the radioactive territory give birth to children. According to the data given by Chernigov Maternity House, only 3% of newly born children are completely healthy. The rest have pathology. Leading Ukrainian scientists expect increase of blood diseases, blood-making organs and cancer twice. They also expect increase of thyroid system disorders, psycho disorders, inborn difficulties in development and immune system disorders. Several generations of Ukrainians will feel negative consequences of Chernobyl tragedy. Taken into account, we were given additional areas for the center's enlargement. After the reconstruction, we shall be able to give complex treatment to more children. But we have a serious problem connected with the reconstructing financing. The city council gives a very small sum of money. That's why I do hope that our foreign friends will help us. As 10 years ago, and during these years, they have been helping to create the center to function and develop. In the nearest future, the center might be like this. This is a planned scheme of a medical and social establishment. A lot of efforts should be taken together in order to make dreams concerning this vital for many sick children building true. But we hope that great professionals, people who stick and work well, who work according to the Hippocrat oath, have a strong desire to help children and youth to recover and improve their health. Doctors know well that the center is a real saving island of hope and kindness to many people who suffered because of Chernobyl.